Hello everyone and welcome to the Halloween challenge in Flight Sim 2020. We're in a plucky little Cessna and our instruments, at least some of our instruments, are no longer working and we are going to try and land at the prescribed airfield except this is my first attempt and I didn't really have a clear idea where the airfield was and so eventually I flew over it and uh, came around but I came around in the wrong direction over it and so this particular attempt will not count but you'll notice the artificial horizon is not working the compass down below isn't working the vertical speed indicator isn't working um, the altimeter and the speed indicator are so those are fine but we have limited instrumentation it's not as stormy as I was expecting for Halloween this is Transylvania by the way uh, which I guess they thought was appropriate and we've got pumpkins on the side of the runway uh, you can see there pumpkin lights so that's good and atmospheric it is a it's a good Halloween special Halloween challenge except I feel like they could have done more thunder and lightning so anyway I landed in the wrong direction there on my first try it is my policy to show you my mistakes so I did uh, so this is the second try from the beginning and uh, get the lights on of course they didn't have the lights on initially right now the instruments are working it's only after uh, I guess we get struck by lightning or something that we actually or uh, that sort of static causes it some sort of interference causes some of the instruments to go out. The wind is fairly calm, too calm, if I would say so. I mean, uh, it's still a challenge without the instruments and it being nighttime, I guess, and the airfield being very small. But yeah, I thought I'd be tossed around a little bit more uh, just looking at the image on the main menu. Uh, so a little bit disappointed that it was a little bit easier than I thought it would be, I guess you could say. Uh, it's a little bit weird. But anyway, the first time around I couldn't, I didn't really know where the airport was and so I came in the wrong direction having tried to look around for it. Uh, this time I knew where it was, so this is the first time I attempted it and would get a score. So, just uh, to be clear, this is the first scored attempt at this challenge for me. And there we go, the little pumpkin lights doing their job. One thing, uh, the previous challenges had sort of a box where we're supposed to be targeting the landing to. I didn't know where exactly we were targeting the landing to on this. And so I, I, I knew I was probably rolling too far here, but still didn't have a clear idea how far off I was. But let's see. 80, 886,000 was my first score there, you can see, which is a pretty good score compared to my other scores and other challenges. I feel like I might be better without the instruments. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, crosswinds are tougher. I mean, with, without a wind, it's, it's much simpler after all. Now, this is the second try, uh, second scored attempt, let's say, whatever, except for the first one where I couldn't find the airfield. Uh, but the engine didn't seem to want to throttle up and you can see we're losing speed the RPM gauge is indicating correct and it's just not there the engine's not there I ultimately try to switch stuff off and on you'll see the lights go out and come back on again as I'm flicking things but uh, no avail and so I have to abort my attempt to land at the airfield and this is actually the most interesting part of this challenge uh, the fact that uh, this this try I did not actually have engines see the lights going out as I'm just toggling things all over the place trying to get something to work but uh, yep over there we've got a road and I decide that I will need to sit down on that road so that is what I set about doing I appreciate the fiery sky uh, but I have definitely encountered gloomier times in flights in 2020. Uh, this is actually... It feels sort of mild, to be honest. But... I'll accept it because of the pumpkin runway. That... That sells it. That sells it for me. Okay, setting down here. All right, it says I la did not land on the designated runway. I'm going like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Uh, so this 
is another try and this time the engine was working. I don't know why it wasn't working that time but this time I was able to throttle up just fine. As far as I know I didn't do anything different so... And uh, static that messes up with the instruments. Maybe they should have some sort of Bermuda Triangle challenge or something. That would be interesting. They need to figure out a way to disable the VFR map, though. Then you're, you're lost and you might have to try and figure out some maybe like Dead Reckoning way of figuring out where you are to get to a place or something. The idea of having challenges where some of the instruments go out is interesting. That's actually pretty good. So this will only be my second scored attempt, but ultimately I decided I was reasonably happy with this particular score, so I decided to go with it, and we'll see how it turned out. I'm very bouncy here. I probably shouldn't be so bouncy. I overcorrect a lot. I can't really set the sensitivity of my control stick apparently I guess because it's a third party one and not recognized by the by the game very well. I guess other people can control the the curves on the stick but I haven't got it set up right now. Maybe they'll add it at some point. Anyway, there we go. One million. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten a one million on one of these challenges so I was happy. Though the landing smoothness, it could have been smoother. So admittedly, I think but precision and ground roll, since I don't know exactly what I'm aiming at, I decided that was pretty good. Anyway, so that was my attempt at the Halloween challenge. Uh, see, of course, if you can do better while it's still up. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.